the rule at K-State, one school at the center of a vaccine mandate debate in Kansas. This is where we start tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mackenzie Davis. KSNT News reporter Katie Garceron is live at the Attorney General's office to explain how he's getting involved. So Katie, how are universities responding to his orders? Mackenzie, the Attorney General has told both K-State and KU in a letter that they are in violation of a recent state law concerning religious exemptions and the COVID-19 vaccine. In the letter, Attorney General Derek Schmidt wrote that the two universities used intrusive written application materials when evaluating an employee's request for exemption. I asked the Attorney General's office for further explanation on his position, and they said he was unavailable for a comment. K-State also not commenting yet, but I did speak with a professor at KU. He is a part of the Kansas Conference of the American Association of University Professors and says that the number one priority of the university is the health and safety of its students. Whatever is possible uh, within the law and within, within the rules of our society to make a safe environment. And if that includes getting vaxxed, great, let's do it. The recent exemption law was passed in a historic special session called by lawmakers. The law and the attorney general's direction call for less oversight by employers, making it so workers don't owe an explanation for their religious beliefs when citing religion as a reason not to get vaccinated. A KU spokesperson has told me that since receiving the attorney general's letter, the university has updated its forms, processes, and deadlines. Live from downtown Topeka, I'm Katie Garceron, covering local news that matters, KSNT News. 